Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be all about my red hair color and what I use to achieve it. I have been using Adore Semi-Permanent Hair Color. That is the brand that I opted for. And I used a mixture of Adore 68 Crimson and Adore 186 Rich Eggplant. These two are what gave me my initial burgundy wine color that you guys may have seen if you checked out my natural hair color story video, which I will link down in the description box. But yes, um, I initially went much darker than this. It was a burgundy wine color, and to get that, I used that red and that purple. The purple is really what will give you that deep, rich burgundy shade. This time around, as you can see, my hair is a lot brighter, and that's because I ran out of purple. Thought I had some extra purple at home, and I didn't, so I didn't buy I didn't buy a new bottle. And instead, I mixed the red with a magenta. So red and pink is what kind of gave me this color that you see going on here. But without further ado, let me show you the tools that I use to dye my hair. First, you need something to act as a barrier between your skin and the dye just to lessen the, the amount of staining that goes on. And I use coconut oil. You could also use Vaseline, but coconut oil is what I had on hand. Then I just use a duckbill clip, and this is just to section off my hair, keep it out of my way as I work. You want to have an applicator bottle just for easy application. I squeeze my color directly into this bottle and just shake it, shake it, shake it, and apply directly onto my sections. You have some plastic caps here, and this is just self-explanatory after you apply all your color. Slap this on your head and let that color marinate and sink into those strands before you wash it out. And then, last but not least, get yourself some gloves. I recommend using... Um, white or clear gloves, especially if you're going to be doing color mixing because this just helps you tell if the hue that you end up with is what you want. So I would put my gloves on, squeeze my color out of the applicator bottle and just kind of wipe it on the palm of the gloves and see do I need to add more purple, do I need to add more red, what's going on and that's that. <laughs> I think I'm going to stop talking your ears off now and we're going to jump into my color process video. Thanks for watching guys. Until next time. Bye.
okay I am back from washing out my color I co-washed and then I deep conditioned I always do a deep conditioning session after I touch up my color very important just to make sure everything's all moisturized and stuff uh, but yeah so you can see the color is looking much more vibrant or at least I hope you guys can see because in my videos so far my color looks way more vibrant on camera than it than it does in real life or than it did in real life um it was looking very washed out very pastel red but on camera it was looking pretty bright so i'm hoping you guys can actually tell the color difference um but yeah so this is the new color and i will come back with makeup and hairstyle for you guys bye